Hello, welcome back to Code Academy's Learn JavaScript. We're in the loops section. This is nested loops. When we have a loop running inside another loop, we call that a nested loop. One use for a nested for loop is to compare the elements in two arrays. For each round of the outer for loop, the inner for loop will run completely. Let's look at the example of a nested for loop. We have const my array. Let's assign these three numbers. We have const your array and it's assigned these three numbers. We say for let i be initialized to zero. As long as i is less than my array dot length, we want to increment i by one. Once we're in here, we say for let j be assigned zero. As long as j is less than your array dot length, we're going to increment j plus one. And then we'll make it into this if condition, which will check if my array index i is equal to your array index j and if so we're going to log both loops have the number and then your array index j let's think about what's happening in the nested loop in our example for each element in the outer loop array my array the inner loop will run in its entirety comparing the current element from the outer array my array index i to each element in the inner array your array j when it finds a match it prints a string to the console so again what it's saying is the outer for loop will run one time so it starts off with six and then it goes into this other for loop which is going to run through your array completely before it comes outside to my array and goes to index one each time that the inner loop runs it's going to go through all the elements, then go into this if statement and compare the value of the outer array with all the elements in the inner array. Whenever there's a match, this will log until it's done. Then it goes to the next element in the outer array, goes into this if statement and runs through all the numbers, logs any similarities, and then comes back outside and finishes it and the outer array checks that last value against all these again, logging any equal values. So now it's your turn to write a nested loop. Note, to exit out of an infinite loop in an exercise, refresh the page, then fix the code for your loops. Instructions say, imagine you're a big wig programmer for a social media platform. You've been tasked with building a prototype for a mutual followers program. You'll need two arrays of friends from two mock users so that you can extract the names of the followers who exist in both lists. Make a variable called Bob's followers and set it equal to an array with four strings representing the names of Bob's friends. Let's zoom out and do that. Let's run this. We did a pass. Two. Make a variable called Tina's followers and set it equal to an array with three strings representing the names of Tina's friends. Make exactly two of these the same as two of the friends in Bob's followers array. Let's do that here. Run that. Three says create a third variable named mutual followers and set it to an empty array. Let's do it here. Run that. 4 says create a nested loop that iterates through Bob's followers as the array for the outer loop and Tina's followers as the array for the inner loop. If the current element from the outer loop is the same as the current element from the inner loop, push that element into the mutual followers array. And we could do that here. So this should do that. Let's try to run it. And it did pass. We could even try to log it to make sure. So we're getting Rob and Snoopy. And that is because we're iterating through both arrays. And once we get inside of this if, it's comparing each value and pushing to this empty array the values that match. As long as you guys are getting that, you guys are getting nested loops, and I'll see you in the next lesson.